Okay, we're gonna try. Honestly, I'm probably not the best person to try this because I actually don't really, really know what eggs taste like. Hey everyone, it's me, Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. It's Saturday morning here in our humble abode and Mr. Halise has bought just egg. Well, why did you buy it actually? I don't know, there's like a brain parasite that took over and it's like, yeah, you know what, let's try that and let me make biscuits. I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm allergic to eggs. So I think that's why he bought this to see. Also, there was a recent study that came out and there was like, put everybody in an uproar that, oh, eggs are really bad for you. Like if you have more than two eggs in a day, then it increases your risk of cardiovascular disease. Oh. But I mean, it's always, like eggs are high in cholesterol. Like it's always been a thing. Whatever governing body um, was like, oh yeah, you know, no, you can just have eggs, it's okay. Whatever's in the egg is fine. But most cardiologists were saying, no, you should cut down on the eggs because they have a lot of cholesterol. So now they're just, oh. chickens are coming home to roost. Ah. We picked up Just Egg from Sprouts, which, recording this video, was the only place we could actually find it. Their other product, though, Just Mayo, is available at HEB. The instructions for Just Egg are pretty simple. You scramble it the way you would a regular egg. When I'm preparing eggs for Mr. Halise, I usually use butter, salt, and pepper. And honestly, it's scrambled the same way with a similar consistency. I will say though, that I felt the need to cook it down a little longer than a traditional egg. So depending on your stove top, add a few minutes extra to your general cook time. So Mr. Halise made biscuits. <laughs> that was him doing air quotes around me saying the word biscuits. They are a biscuit-like situation. They're gluten-free. We're trying to have like a full breakfast situation to try out the just egg for y'all. I'm gonna eat it because Mr. Halise does all the cooking anyway. And I'm always just grateful that someone else is doing it. So there you go. To me, it tastes very beany, because it is a bean, I guess. But I like it. There's a flavor there. It's bean. I think it's like legumes, I guess. Oh, I see what... The texture's there. It is slightly beany, like very planty. Um, yeah, like chlorophyll-like like the inside of a plant. But it's got a little bit of a taste like polenta. I don't know, it looks it looks exactly like eggs. Like it looks like eggs, but it doesn't taste like eggs. At all, do you? No, it doesn't taste like eggs at all. Oh. In the sandwich, I can't taste, like it doesn't taste like it did on its own. It just tastes like I'm getting the sausage <laughs> I'm getting the sausage, I'm getting the biscuit, I'm getting the salt and the butter a little bit. Um, I'm not getting the same plantiness. So it tastes like a egg biscuit, egg sausage biscuit situation to you? It's a lot less egg forward. But yeah, I mean, the experience is similar. Apparently, if you're into making an egg sausage biscuit situation, this will work pretty well. I also feel like this would probably be pretty cool for omelets. Maybe I'll do that next time. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me try to make an omelet with just egg. Yeah.